Alice in Wonderland syndrome. People with this very rare disorder see certain objects as being bigger or smaller than they actually are. Sufferers might also have difficulty with the perception of time too. <gasps> I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. B is for Bobberigmi, the sound that your stomach makes when it's hungry. C is for Charles Jensen. This American dude has apparently had more surgeries than any other person. Between the years of 1954 and 1994, he had surgery 970 times to remove tumours. D is for decapitation. Did you know that after chopping somebody's head off, the blood in the head can keep the head alive for 15 to 20 seconds? 80, 90, 20. Back in the day, a Viking, Sigurd the Mighty, was killed by a head that he had decapitated a few hours before. He tied the head to a saddle on his horse, and the teeth grazed his leg, and he later died of a bacterial infection. E is for epidemics. In 1962, an epidemic of laughing broke out in Tanzania, affecting thousands of people, so much so that they had to close a school. Symptoms included crying, fainting, rashes, and, of course, laughing. <laughs> F is for feet. You got sweaty feet? Well, that's probably because there's 250,000 sweat glands in each foot. Well, that actually means that each foot can produce about a pint of sweat a day. We are going to see this through to the bitter end. Or lager end. Scientists also believe feet get bigger with age, with an average increase of one shoe size by the age of 70. G is for gold. Are you feeling skin? Well, every one of us has got about 0.2 milligrams of gold circulating in our blood. Although, hold on a second, it's not really going to help you pay the rent, because you probably need the blood of about 40,000 people just to make one gold coin. H is for hiccups. We've all wondered it at some point or another. Just why do we hiccup? Well, hiccups are caused by a spasm in your diaphragm. Your diaphragm forces air in and out of your windpipe, which is stopped by a flap of cartilage called the epiglottis. This is where the <coughs> sound comes from. If you hold your breath, then carbon dioxide builds up in your body, which stops the spasming diaphragm. I is for ice cream. If you didn't know already, the official name for brain freeze is sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia. What's the matter, a brain freeze? No, brain wave. J is for joints. Scientists say that achy joints can be used to predict the weather. When bad weather arrives, pressure in the atmosphere drops. This can cause tissue in the knee to expand, causing pain and swelling. Kneecaps. This weather forecast wouldn't work for babies though, because when they're born, babies don't even have kneecaps. They have cartilage, which will be replaced by bone by the time they reach six months old. Hence, why very young babies tend to army crawl. L is for light bulb moments. Did you know that your brain uses about the same amount of power as a light bulb, even when you're asleep? Sounds like there might be a little bit more going on up there than you thought. M is for methemoglobinemia. What's that, you may ask? Well, it's a rare genetic condition that colours skin blue. I'm blue I need, I need, I that sound when you crack your knuckles? It's actually the sound of nitrogen bubbles bursting in your joints. That's why you can't do it twice straight after one another, because the nitrogen gas bubbles need to form again. O is for old person smell. Yeah, there's actually a name for that. It's called nanano. The smell is actually part of the natural ageing process. A recent study found that there are different types of smells for different age groups. Young person smell, middle aged person smell. The same study found that old person smell is actually more pleasant than younger person smell. P is for pregnancy. Along with the odd cravings that pregnant women get, they also have been well reported to have these really odd dreams. Often dreaming of things such as tadpoles, worms, potted plants, puddles, and even sex. Q is for quadriceps. Did you know the quads are the strongest and leanest muscles in the human body? Back in 1997, President Bill Clinton ruptured his quad by falling down some steps. During surgery, he was only put under local anaesthetic, which meant the power was never transferred to vice president at the time. Everyone loves a good roller coaster, right? Well, that feeling you get when your stomach feels like it's in your mouth is probably not actually that far from the truth. What happens is when you plummet downwards on the roller coaster, internal organs such as your stomach and intestines actually lift up inside your body. This is detected by nerves telling your brain that everything in your body is moving around, as if you hadn't already noticed. Why do we like the smell of our own farts, but no one else's? 
Well, it's actually to do with the different combination of bacteria we each have in our guts, which means we each have our own unique aroma. When it's someone else's eau de parfum, our brain detects it as harmful. And don't pretend you don't do it. We each let out an average of two litres of gas per day. That's enough to fill up a balloon. Whilst twins are genetically identical, did you know that they don't have the same fingerprints? This is because fingerprints aren't genetically determined. It's actually to do with the position of the baby in the womb. Two twins in the same womb will never be in the same position, and therefore the flow of fluid around the babies, which determines the fingerprint, is always going to be different for both of the children. At its fullest, the human blood can hold up to two pints of urine. Well, that's good news for Bear grills. It's also reported that Romans used urine to brush their teeth, and it was supposedly very effective. What do sharks and vaginas have in common? No, seriously, it's not a joke. They both contain a substance called squalene. Sharks have it in their livers, and it's also a vaginal lubricant. W is for wrinkles. Have you ever wondered why your fingers go wrinkly when you spent too long in the water? Most people think it's because the water enters into your skin, but that's not actually the case. It's your body telling your nervous system to make sure that your fingers go wrinkly to make it easier to handle things when you're underwater. <coughs> Xenozoonosis. Infections aren't usually capable of being transmitted from one species to another. However, sometimes an infection can mutate in one animal, allowing it to be transferred to a different species. This is how bird flu came about in 2003, when the influenza virus mutated in birds and became capable of infecting humans. Did you know that it takes about a year for your toenails to grow from cuticle to tip? But your fingernails can grow four times faster than that. Z is for zombies. There's a condition called Cotard syndrome, a rare mental disorder where sufferers genuinely feel like they are already dead or that their internal organs are rotting away. Patients often stop eating, bathing and apparently find solace in hanging around cemeteries. <laughs>